Hey guys, it's John here from Sonic Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing well. It's time for a high gain amplifier shootout. So that's exactly what we're going to do today. For this comparison, I'm going to stick with one guitar and one guitar tone per amplifier. And that will be a heavy rhythm, rock or metal guitar tone. And I'm going to use one of my favorite guitars. And that is the ESP LTD NW44 Neil Westfall model. It's just a killer guitar with a great pickup in it, which is the Bare Knuckle Aftermath. And that guitar just has a very clear, huge and punchy sound to it. So that's just great for rock and metal with its aggressive and percussive sound. And that guitar is tuned to drop C, by the way, which is a great tuning for that guitar because it has a 25.5 inch scale. Now the amps that we're going to compare are the Marshall JVM 410H, the Mesa Boogie Dual Rectifier, the Engel Fireball 100, the Orange Rockerverb 50 Mark III, the PV Invective 120, and the Randall Diablo 100. They all have their own unique sound and sonic signature going on, so it will be very interesting to see how they compare in this test. All of them were made with high gain rock or metal tones in mind, so there will be plenty of gain on tap with each amplifier. Now some quick notes about my approach for this test before we start. When I was dialing in the tones on these amps for this test, I was not comparing them to each other directly to make them sound more close or anything like that. At least not deliberately. I just wanted to make them all sound good and shine in their own unique way so that they all fit the mix as good as they can. They just needed to be tweaked individually to work well together with this guitar and these riffs and this mix. And they each will have a unique York Audio Impulse Response cab sound on them because of this. I will, however, use the same mic mix or mic blend for each of the cabinets that I will use. And that is mic mix 01. And that's basically a blend between a 57 and a 121 mic. Just to keep that aspect of the tone consistent. In the end, everyone will use their own cabinet or IR anyway. And I just wanted to use some cab sounds that worked really well together with these amplifiers. In real life, you guys will also probably pair up your amplifier with a suitable cabinet. However, I know that some of you guys prefer to hear these comparisons through the exact same cab sound or cab IR. So I've also added a dedicated comparison near the end of the video, especially for you guys. And it will make this test a little bit more interesting indeed. So more about that later. All the amps will be fed into my Red 7 amplification amp central reactive load and then into the York Audio impulse responses. No post-processing whatsoever will be applied to the guitar. So no EQ or compression or reverb or anything like that. And I tracked the guitars twice, so one all the way on the left and one all the way on the right. Okay, let's get started with the amp tones. And we're going to start with my Marshall JVM 410H amplifier, which is a killer flagship high gain Marshall amplifier. It has four channels with three modes each, so it has a lot of tonal options. So it's a very cool amplifier that I really love because it's just so versatile and it sounds really good as well. And for this test, we're going to use the OD1 channel on the red mode. So that's the high gain mode of that channel. And for this amp, I'm using the York Audio FDMN412 package uh, with a V30 speaker option. And that's based on a 4x12 Friedman cabinet loaded with V30s, of course. So let's go ahead and check that out right now. Enjoy. Cool, that sounded great. 
Now also a little segment with the guitars isolated, just so you can hear them up close. Here we go. Very nice, I really dig the sound of that Marshall JVM. It's clear, it's punchy sounding with plenty of mids and it's pretty aggressive but not in an abrasive way at all. So the mids are really full in that classic Marshall way, so it cuts really nicely in the mix, but the top end is sort of smooth and round, which is really nice. So yeah, a very cool amplifier indeed. Let's move on to the second amp, which is the Mesa Boogie Dual Rectifier. And we all know this wonderful and classic 100 watt amplifier because of its big, scooped and sort of sizzly tone. I'm on the red channel on modern mode, of course, which is the most famous rectifier mode. And the power settings on the back were set to diode rectification and bold for that direct and punchy tone. And this amp will be fed through the York Audio MES 4120S cabinet package, which is based on an oversized 4x12 Mesa Boogie cabinet with V30s as well. Here we go. Awesome. And now a couple of riffs just with the isolated guitars. Here we go. Very cool. Definitely more scooped than the Marshall, that's for sure. A big thumpy low end, those scooped mids and that sizzly top end. I really like how this amplifier sits in the mix and how it leaves room for the other instruments because of its scooped mid-range. A very cool and big sounding amplifier. Now let's check out my Angle Fireball 100 amplifier. My wonderful German engineered fire breathing beast. I really love this amplifier for its overall texture, the growly mids and its fierce cut. It's just perfect for metal. And I'll be on the lead channel with the mid boost turned off. And with this amplifier, I like to crank the mids and treble a little bit usually, just to make it cut and growl even more. So it should sound amazing with this guitar. And for this amp, I'm using the York Audio ZILA212 package on the H75 and V30 blend option, which of course is based on a 2x12 Zilla cabinet with H75 and V30 speakers both blended together. So let's check that out right now. Here we go.
Damn, that was awesome. Now a couple of riffs isolated. Here we go. Oh yeah, that amp just sounds so good. I'm always surprised at how well it sits in the mix and how aggressive and growly it sounds. A truly impressive amplifier indeed. It had a nice and clear open top end with a beefy yet tight low end. And as I said, those mids just cut really nicely through the mix with that signature angle growl. A very nice and aggressive tone indeed, love it. Now let's check out the Orange Rockefeller 50 Mark III. Probably the least metal amplifier in the bunch and also with the lowest wattage rating at 50 watts. But still there's plenty of oomph and heft there. 50 watts is plenty to get a huge guitar tone. Now this amplifier likely will sound a bit more warm and round in comparison to the other amps, so less bright, less scooped and less direct in the lows. It's a tone that I really like for certain styles and riffs, so it's going to be interesting to see how it compares here. I'm on the lead channel of course with the attenuator turned off all the way. And this time I'm using an IR from the York Audio ORNG 412 V30 package, which of course is based on a 4x12 orange cabinet loaded with V30s. Let's check that out right now. Very cool. And now a couple of riffs isolated. Here we go. Very nice. So as expected, this amplifier sounded very big warm and sort of round. Perhaps a little bit more polite sounding in the mids, so less cutting and less tight and fierce. But that sound definitely has its place and it's a sound that I really enjoy. I just love the uniqueness that this amplifier has to offer and orange amps in general. And now let's check out the PV Invective 120 amplifier. I was a bit torn between this amplifier and the good old PV 6505, but in the end I did choose the Invective 120 just because this amplifier is a little bit better suited for modern metal by default because of its features like the built-in boost and the built-in noise gate. So it's a great 120 watt amplifier with a bunch of great features and some solid tones in it. And we're on the lead channel with the built-in boost and gate turned on for that sort of tight and focused modern sound. And note that the master boost function on the back of the amplifier is turned on it's supposed to affect the overall sound of the amplifier ever so slightly, so perhaps that's good to know. And this amp will go through the York Audio MES412 Trad package, which of course is based on a 4x12 traditional Mesa Boogie cabinet loaded with V30s. Let's go ahead and check that out right now.
awesome. And now some isolated riffs as well. Here we go. Very nice! This amp also did a great job in the mix. It sounded kind of tight, fierce and focused but with a very nice mid-range that worked really well in the full mix. And the sound was bright enough but definitely not harsh in any way so I like that a lot. And now the final amp of this test, the Randall Diablo 100. Perhaps a bit of an underdog in this test, it's the most affordable amplifier after all. And it does have its quirks to be honest but it's an amplifier that suits the style of this test very well. So it should be interesting. And I'm on channel 3 here, the most high gain channel. It's the blue channel and the built-in boost is turned on for extra gain and aggression, of course. And this amp will go through the York Audio MES212 V30 package, which of course is based on an oversized Mesa Boogie 2x12 cabinet with V30s. Let's go ahead and check that out right now. Not bad at all. Now some isolated riffs. Here we go. Great! So this amp sounded pretty good in comparison. I don't think it's my favorite amp of the bunch, but it still did a great job. Pretty dry, tight and aggressive sounding, but a little on the dark side for my taste. Now let's check out an isolated AB back to back comparison, just so you can hear all the amplifiers up close and side by side. Let's check that out right now.
Interesting, huh? They definitely all have their own unique sound going on and I do not think that they sound alike at all. Because sometimes some of my viewers like to claim that all my amplifiers sound the same, I think this is proof that they absolutely do not. But how much of that had to do with the cab sounds that I chose to use with the amplifiers? So now let's check out that same AB back-to-back -back isolated comparison, but this time with all the amplifiers going through the same exact cab IR. And for this, I will be using the York Audio MES212 V30 cabinet, so the oversized Mesa Boogie 2x12 cabinet with V30s, and I'm on Mix01. And this is just a cabinet that really works well with a wide variety of amplifiers. So let's go ahead and check that out right now. And let's see how different this will be from the previous AB back-to-back -back comparison. Here we go. Interesting. So even though the cab sound was exactly the same this time, each amplifier still really had its own sonic signature and sound going on. They still sounded very unique in my opinion. In general, I thought that each of the amplifiers did a great job in its own way. In this case, the Angle Fireball 100 and Invective 120 were probably my favorites with this guitar and with these riffs, just because of their tightness, growl and clarity and mid-range and aggressiveness. If I had to pick just one from this particular comparison, I think I'd go with the Angle Fireball 100. The others were great too, obviously, and with a different riff or a different guitar, I would probably pick another one as my favorite. But again, for this guitar and for these riffs, I would go with the Angle for my favorite and with the PV Invective 120 for my second favorite. It's not an easy choice though, because I loved them all and I don't really like to pick favorites. I would love to know your thoughts, so definitely let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are and which one was your favorite and why. That's all for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons along with the bell down here, as that would really help the channel out, so it would make me very happy. You can also follow Sonic Drive Studio on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you very, very soon. Cheers!